What? That's my boy. Why'd you come in and wake me up at three in the morning? Hmm? Hi everyone. I'm uh, in bad shape. I was working out on the truck yesterday, finishing those last two walls, putting the putting the siding up. And I had the camera on, and I, I must have shut the camera off uh, probably within a minute of this happening. Uh, it's probably good that the camera wasn't running because it would have been about five minutes of beep, 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 because I, I let some F-bombs fly. I am so mad at myself for stumbling. First mistake, I was wearing slippers, flip-flops. Bad move. Second mistake, when I started to stumble, I didn't like take it seriously. Um, I've never fallen, I've never stumbled and fallen out of the truck before. So as I started to stumble, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, be able to put my foot down here. Well, you know, and it happened fast and I'm trying to like recreate it in my mind, the mechanics of what I actually did. So I was, standing with my back <clears throat> with my back to the doorway you know at the top of the steps and I believe I stumbled over the caulking gun you know and which kind of rolled backwards so my foot slipped down the step I shinned myself on the step okay so that immediately was a giant bump so I didn't catch my traction with my leg continued to fall backwards and smacked right here against the door frame. And, you know, immediately when it happened, if you've ever done a rib injury from an impact, that feeling of like, uh, it, to me, it's like the ribs, it's buckling and then popping back. So that's what I had. So as soon as it happened, I immediately knew that I just cracked or maybe broke a rib uh, just because I've felt that before. So I immediately went inside and got a 800 uh, ibuprofen and took that. And so within about 20 minutes, the pain, you know, I was definitely in pain and I definitely bruised, cracked or broke a rib. But the pain, you know, I sat down and was still in the garage and drank some water and kind of regrouped and when that ibuprofen kicked in I was okay and so leading up into last night you know very painful but I'm like okay I'm gonna be all right I was able to kind of recline on the bed comfortably and yeah, I got boo boos I got owls okay he he knows he came up here and very gently came up and let me take his collar off and start licking me because he knows the look and the moaning and all that when I'm hurt and now he's just laid down here he knows when I'm not doing well I say I got boo-boos and he knows what that is so I think he's gonna take care of me that's my boy oh it hurts to Hurts to talk a little bit. The Advil definitely just kicked in and made me feel a little better, thank goodness. But at least I have somebody taking care of me. And then last night, I'm eating some Cheetos. And, you know, the Cheeto dust, whatever, I coughed. And that cough, I felt that of the rib cage. And after that cough, I'm now in worse shape than I was before the cough. Gosh, I like Cheetos, but I don't like them that much. So, I was able to sleep last night. I kind of laid my arm just up under my flank here to, I guess, elevate this side of my, my torso. And I was able to sleep last night. Um, I took some more Advil before bed. 
So this morning, you know, very painful. I took Lefty for a really short walk. I only made it up far enough for him to do his, his work. And I turned him around and came back because it's just, you know, certain little moves. I mean, if you've done rib damage, you know, you kind of can't put the pattern together. It's a move this way, but no, no, it's a move this way and the pain. And so I'm trying to just stay as immobile as I can. Dalen came over, God bless her, and took Lefty with Blue over to the park. I don't have to spell it, I almost did. Took him over to the park, they're there right now because I don't want to punish him. So last night, he came upstairs, he followed me upstairs to the bed, and I'm saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm grimacing, I'm in pain. And I swear he know he knew he you know was very gentle ears back licking my leg, and then he sat right down at my feet uh, next to the bed, which he typically doesn't do, because you know when he has a an injury, it's you know I say he's got a boo boo. That's our word. And so I was telling him I had a boo boo, and he's like sniffing me, trying to find it, you know, trying to find blood probably. But I swear he he can tell that I'm not right because uh i'm making a lot of moaning sounds but so i'm i am just kicking myself in the ass because i i could have easily prevented this don't ever wear flip-flops when you're doing work you know i'm in a kind of a confined area there working i've got supplies and tools and i try to keep it as clean and open as i can when i'm working but you know stuff accumulates razor blade tool ruler tape measure, caulking gun, box of tiles, cut tiles all over. And if I had had my sneakers on, proper footwear, I this probably wouldn't have happened, I would guess, because I would have been able to get my traction easier. And if you, I'm so mad that I didn't stop myself from falling because uh, it happened so quick. And I, this is all just me trying to rebuild it in my head, but really kicking myself in the ass because we're down to the last I'm gonna say three weeks and we're gonna be ready to leave town thank goodness and so I I don't want I hope this doesn't put me behind schedule because once this is finished then it's time to install the sink my new table then I got to do all the engine work the serpentine the tensioner the idler pulley the air conditioning compressor, and I got to get the air conditioning system straightened out so that I have cab air conditioning. So I have all this stuff that I have to do and then hopefully be out of here in about three weeks. So put your comments down below. I know a lot of you uh, from comments and emails work in the healthcare industry. Please don't scold me for injuring myself. This was unintentional. Yeah, I could have. I could have avoided it, I think, but uh, I appreciate everybody's well wishes, and I'm going to be just laying low here for the next several days trying to hear. You know, my instinct is I want to keep going and doing stuff, and I, and I did. You know, I keep trying to do things, and it just keeps reminding me I am really, I'm really injured here. So, Ugh. if anybody has any tips on, you know, I know for cracked and broken ribs, there's really, you know, you can't do anything. I've been there before, but... If anybody's got any ideas on how I can try to lessen my pain, I've taken Advil and I took some Tylenol just now. My doctor told me that uh, you can take Advil and Tylenol in conjunction and they actually help each other. They work better when you take them at the same time, which I never knew before. So I've just done that. And I can definitely feel when I take the pain medication, the, the uh, Advil yesterday, you know, it, it works. Um, but I gotta just keep myself calm and stop trying to do stuff here for the next several days till I start to heal up and don't cough, don't eat Cheetos and don't cough. It was cheese doodles, let me be clear, it was cheese doodles, the puffy ones. You know, you bite them and the pew, the dust, and boy, they were good, but like I said, they're not that good. So everybody, thanks for watching. I wish I had some better news. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon. Look who's talking, be safe.